What's up, flamethrowers? It is me, Flame the Dragon Hog here, and I am also joined with my daughter, Amber Dragon Hog. Hello, everyone. Yep, and today we are we are in desperate need of your help. You see, we're really desperate to find a sixth member of our team, Team Flame. Yep. And so, we've been traveling all throughout different universes to see which one of, to see, um, if we can find any girls, that w to see if we can find any characters who would like to be a member of Team Flame. And so, we traveled to many different universes and we brought back four girls. Yeah, we brought back four people that, that's trying to be a member of Team Flame. But we're not so sure which one to go with, because we can only pick just one. Yep, and so we are going to be asking you guys if you guys would... So, basically what we're going to do here is we're going to tell you all about the characters that's trying to be the sixth member of Team Flame. Anyway, <clears throat> if you guys are really eager to know who the four girls are, well, here they are. Yep, it is Cinder from the Ruby Universe, Sailor Mars from the Sailor Moon Universe, Mai Sharonuri from the King of Fighters Universe, and finally, Princess Azula from the Avatar The Last Airbender Universe. Now, the reason why, now, um, we really, really need your help, so you guys need to figure out which one of these girls, or which one do you guys want to be the member, the sixth member of Team Flame. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go through each character's profile for you guys. So that way you guys can figure out if they're qualified enough to be the sixth member. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. All right, so we're starting off with Cinder. Cinder Fall from the Ruby Universe. Now, in the Ruby Universe, she's known for being public enemy number one. You know, for trying to take the power of the four maidens in the Ruby, and not to mention, she killed many different people just to get power. I mean, her arm is basically grim. She turned herself into a monster just for power. And let's just say, she is really, really power hungry. I mean, you guys all saw Ruby, for a fact. We all saw Ruby. For those of you guys who haven't, you gotta go check it out. It's on YouTube. It's pretty cool. But anyway, um, for Cinder, she is really, really powerful when it comes to fire. You see, what she can do is she can conjure up different types of weapons from axes, spears, uh, swords, mainly swords, and just mage, and just all sorts of things. She can shoot fireballs, and she can also uh, not only use fire, but she can also mix her fire with some other things, like ice and wind and all sorts of other things. But she mainly likes using fire. So, yeah. But, guys, before you guys ask, why are you picking Cinder? She's a villain. But not this ver not the Cinder that I know. The Cinder that I know is trying to be it and she's good she's good she's act she's actually here in mobius right now so yeah anyway just so if you guys want cinder put it down in the comment section all right so that's it for cinder uh amber all right so the next one we have here is princess azula from the avatar the last airbender universe now, for those of you guys who haven't seen Avatar, you guys really need to catch up. Anyway, she is known for also being public enemy number one, or number two in this case. Um, she's basically the sister of, of the prince of the Fire Nation, Prince Zuko. Uh, the prince slash turned hero of the Avatar universe. Anyway... Um, she basically does whatever it takes to impress her father. And let's just say, she actually has done a lot. You know, 
you know, burning down kingdoms, taking over different nations and stuff, and trying to prove to the world that her father is number one. Anyway, for her power set, she can use fire, but not just any fire. She can use blue fire, the hottest type of fire. Yep, that's right. Everybody knows that when fire turns blue, it's extra hot. Yep. Anyway, she can use her fire to make herself fly. She can use it to, you know, all sorts of things. She can blast fire. She can create fire walls and all sorts of other things. But the one thing she can do that many other firebenders can't do, and that's use lightning. Rarely any firebender from her world can use lightning. Mainly her, her father, and her uncle can use lightning. Her brother, by the way, couldn't use lightning. He only learned to... He only learned to direct it. But anyway, yeah. So if you guys want Azula to be the sixth member of Team Flame, put it down in the comment section. All right, Daddy, next. Okay, next girl we have here is... My Shirinuri. Of course, we all know Mai from the King of Fighters universe. And basically, <laughs> I hate to say this, but she is the King of Fighters' most beloved character. Reason why is because of her, uh, you know. But anyway, um, of course, we all know Mai Shirinuri. She's the ninja of seduction. That's why she wears this outfit right here. I mean, come on. It's a ninja tactic. She distracts her opponents. Because think about it like this. What opponent would want to attack a girl with a... Uh, you know. But anyway, let's talk about her arsenal. Um, she basically is a skilled martial artist. The same with Azula, which uh, Amber forgot to mention. Sorry. It's okay. But anyway, um, basically she's a master martial artist. And she has a wide variety of steel fans where she keeps inside her, uh, you know, her cleavage, I guess. Can I say that? I honestly don't know. I don't know if I can say that. Uh, okay, I'll just say situations. Yeah, she keeps them in between her situations. And she has like an infinity amount of them, which is just insane. But anyway, um... Her steel fans is cool and all, but the one thing she is really good at using, it's fire. <laughs> she uses fire in all sorts of attacks that she does in King of Fighters. My personal attack that she taught me is the fire fan slash. Oh, you mean when she sets her fans on fire and slashes her opponents? That's the one, Amber. Yeah, she taught me that too. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, um... She actually is a really, really good friend of mine. She is a really good student, too. So, yeah, guys, basically, if you guys want uh, Mai to come be the uh, sixth member of uh, Team Flame, put it down in the comment section. Okay, so we're down to the last and final girl, Amber. All right. And it is... The ever so beautiful and graceful Sailor Mars from the Sailor Moon universe. Now, we're going to talk about her together. Anyway, um, before we get started, I just got to say, how you guys are probably wondering, how the heck do I know her? Well, let's just say a few years ago, I actually ran into her. Uh, it, my memory is sort of foggy, but I remember traveling to the... Uh, Sailor Moon universe, and I actually made friends with all the Sailor... Well, I actually made friends with all the Sailor Scouts. It's actually pretty cool. But the one... But the one Sailor Scout I actually did have a bond with is actually Sailor Mars. She's actually very nice and kind. Um... And it is pretty interesting. When she transforms into Sailor Mars, it is really, really cool. And I just gotta say one other thing. The transformations of the Sailor Moons... I mean, the Sailor Scouts is really, really cool. But anyway, moving on, um, Sailor Mars. Um, we all know her as very being nice and sweet, and she really loves hanging out with her friends. But when it's time to kick butt, she's ready. 
When it's time to kick butt, she transforms into Sailor Mars and gets things done. The one thing she and everybody knows her for being skilled with magic, mainly, uh, mainly fire magic. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, um, she actually is really, really good at um, using fire to her advantage. She can conjure up her famous fire bow and she can also shoot fire from her hands and she can also coat herself in like a fire type bird or something or a fire or a phoenix or something it's pretty cool but the one thing she actually did teach me when i was there is my signature move the fire bullets it's where she conjures up um fire multiple different fire orbs and she just shoots them out fast like bullets it's actually really really cool i could show you guys one day well, guys, that's it. That's all four girls. Yep. Actually, um, we were going to go with uh, one other girl, but I honestly don't know how everybody would take it. <laughs> yeah. Um, for those of you guys who are wondering who the uh, other girl was, it was going to be uh, Princess Unikitty from the uh, Lego movie or the uh, show Unikitty. But we thought, nah. We thought, nah, because the only time she uses her fire is when she gets angry. So, yeah, anyway. So, anyway, um, like I said before, that's it for today. That's it for this uh, little thing. So, guys, please do let us know in the comment section which one of these girls do you guys want to be the sixth member of Team Flame? Like I said in the beginning, will it be Cinderfall from the Ruby universe? Will it be Mai Shirinuri from the King of Fighters universe? Will it be Sailor Mars from the Sailor Moon universe? Or will it be Princess Azula from the Avatar universe? Do let me know in the comment section. And also, guys, be honest. And don't just say that you guys want that character to be there because you like them and don't just say be, and don't just say that you want them there or something i don't know but anyway um so yeah anyway this is uh flame the dragon hog and amber dragon hog signing out for now oh hang on i almost forgot one more thing guys there's one there's something else i got to tell you guys um, later on today, I will be doing yet another Sonic, another Sonic ship discussion. Be sure to keep an eye out for that video, guys. <laughs> anyway, now this is Flame the Dragon Hog. And Amber Dragon Hog. Signing out for now. Later, flamethrowers. Hey, later, flamethrowers.